We didn't die yesterday from our mushroom consumption that we found on the floor. Quite successful, proper yummy. Anyways, we're off on an adventure. Go see an iron fort from the Iron Age. His favorite thing to do is hit up hallucinogenics whilst having coffee in the morning. What wild mushrooms can we find today? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but I think that was the outer wall of the Iron Age civilization that was here of the fortress. We're now making our way up to the top and hopefully we'll see something a bit more than stones, but generally with these, uh, these fortresses and ruins, they made very, 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 very long time ago and uh, basically just markings on the ground at this point. Do you reckon that's it? Is that what's left of the fort? It's the fort. There we go. We have claimed the fort. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, if there was a big civilization here and you had all the like huts and stuff, all these logs would have been cut down. The view would have been something like this. If anyone knows what this thing is, let me know in the comments, because that is, that's wild. Sometimes it's really good just to sit down and focus and shout out the world and that's the world that I just went into. It was really good just to write and not have any distractions and work out exactly what I want to do and what I'm going to be doing over the next few days and the next few weeks and the next few months. It's nice to have a plan and a clear vision. Right now it is time for breakfast and uh, vibing on second coffee. Oh, I think so. I, uh, I think it might be time for me to get my special coffee out. I agree. Yeah. Go on then. This was the coffee I lost my coffee virginity <laughs> to in Bali, and this bag has been traveling around with me for over a year. Ah, oh, the used before date is uh, 28th <laughs> of the 8th, 2021, which, <laughs> this will be an interesting brew. <laughs> That'll be fine, I won't change it much this day. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, um... Roasted prom cherry, I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. It's special, it's like wine. They are aged beans. Probably means they're soft and lost all their taste, but we'll find out. <laughs> I literally flipped it round to try and not injure you. Yeah, it's some bad timing. Are we getting some? Yeah, mate, I'm ready. We're gonna bring back memories. God, it's, got, it's hit me already. It smells like that. Have a look at those. Yeah, they, they actually look pretty good. It's uh. The all, roast does not look too dark. All the way. I would say it's a relatively medium roast. It's not light. It's not dark, which is a good sign. From the bean size is good. From the fields of Bali, from the, the mountainous region of uh, Kintamani. Are you just gonna have a bite? I'm just gonna no, just give it a sniff. Like no, I'm, I'm gonna so. crunch one raw. This one's right, it's fair. Yeah. Come on. I hate doing that. Not a fan. I think we're gonna have a good coffee. <laughs> I'm excited. Quite oh, ass bitter though. <laughs> <laughs> You want a diet? You need a tasty snack? Coffee beans. <laughs> this morning's finds. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My... Mate, that's the most veg we've eaten on this whole trip. It's <laughs> fine. Probably a different shot. We are eating them the most primal way possible. In our little low squats. Mm -hmm. That's uh, it's just the, the way you need to live. If you don't eat like this, then are you really even human? If you eat like this, your testosterone levels triple. Oh yeah? Mm. Oh mate, that's, that's facts. Is, is that also, do you, how much of a multiplier is the polka dot plate? 
This is actually negative 10%, but the additional 300% kind of balances. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, all right, all right. We made breakfast and lunch and then have eaten it all in one go because, well, it's lunchtime, we it's lunchtime and we haven't had, yeah, exactly. Lunchtime, we haven't had breakfast. It's like coming up to two now, right? I'm pretty sure she just yeeted dirt into my food as she shook them. I saw something land on the plate. Now food's down. It's time for my coffee that I've waited for years. Interesting. <laughs> smells like old coffee beans. No, it doesn't, smell, it doesn't smell bad at all. It's probably a little bit softer than the other flavours you generally go yeah, for. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like more coffee from like Indonesia is more earthy, um, more neutral, less fruity, less funky. It's all right. It smells good. Smelling. I don't know. It's intriguing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like two year old uh, coffee should do. Yeah, it's got a whiny sort of smell to it. I would say like smoky tobacco, a bit oaky. I consider myself to be a coffee drinker by volume and Tom to be coffee drinker by subtlety and taste, so I'll take his opinion over mine for this. you like to say, I think it will probably be. I just found it. Look at that. <laughs> I the stick know. throwing never stops. If we don't, she'll just sit and cry about it. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, it smells pretty good. It smells pretty strong. Like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it won't, it'll be like more of a body earthy sort of. The, the coffee that I, I've brought and we drink is like acidic, fruity, and a bit weird. This is like traditional coffee coffee. Not a bad thing. Different I've been drinking coffee straight just because it's kind of effort storing milk. Yeah, Although we've got, got our break fridge and stuff, our big cool box and things. But back home, I, I do slam quite a lot of milk in my coffees. I like this is more my style, earthy and lots of milk. Do you want my bad news, Nick? What bad news? I haven't got any milk. Ah, <laughs> it's all right. I've got used to drinking it straight. Tom, Tom's forced me to. Once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, black coffee is the way forward, mate. Yeah. You've, got, you've got a taste of it, mate. It is time. It's time. This is the way. Let's go find some yes. sun. Yeah, it smells good. Sun and coffee. Like, you don't really want to have one without the other. If it has to be done, it has to be done. But look. Sun. Cheers. Thanks for... Uh, we, we never cheers our coffee. It's the coffee. <laughs> special coffee. It is a special coffee. I'm, I'm excited. Mate, aggressive sun flares. Off we go. Adventure mode. Yes. Road trip time. Sort of. Sort of. Where are we going? We're going to Loch Annaline. Come on, Annaline. Oh, That's where we're going. Oh. I've uh, come to the conclusion that I'm going to commit to uh, growing out the bulb back because I feel like this is the most I've ever had it and it would just be funny to go for the full curtains look for a bit. I reckon it's going to age me by about 10 years. I reckon I'm going to look like I'm like 36 once that's all fully done. <laughs> At least. I'd probably go for 20, mate. 20? Yeah, 46. Yeah? 46? <laughs> <laughs> I won't look that old. Should we get the public consensus? Oh, well, I'll just uh, grow it out. Do you think this man is? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an excellent idea. I just had a look at that video back. The bulb patch is solid at the moment. So that's good effort, I rate that. It's all right, that's why we wear, us bulb men wear, wear caps. There you go, bulb patch gone. It's actually not. It's because our heads got really cold without hair on them. 
and also because we don't have like hair's kind of like whiskers we keep hitting our heads we don't have something to give a bit of a, a bit of a brushing warning <laughs> you look at any bold man like most of the time they will have like a bump or a cut on the head just because they had no warning and they hit it like that <laughs> we're stopping off for for food and some some water and all sorts of bits that we just need as we travel about it's looking like it might be difficult to park this thing though well he, he might manage look at that big fan trailer Holy combo crap. that's a good effort we've been outdone like most of the car park yeah mate oh, mate there was a spot it's the only double going it's ours oh yeah have I now, so you, that. you have. Yeah, you know what? You, you deserve man points for that. I, mean, I deserve a fucking cross on it. That's what I deserve. It's <laughs> time for a car park cross on. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I love how it's taken us to pretty much the end of the trip to properly stock up on food. The cool box is completely full. We've dedicated the coffee and food box to pure food. And all the coffee's gone in our like gas and like ultra essentials and box that we rarely access. Mission success. We've now got a little 10 minute drive to a lock where we're gonna sauna, have a swim in the lock because it's literally what we came to Scotland to do. Tom's very happy with the croissant holiday, holiday croissant life. The man is treating himself, feeding his soul. Mm -hmm. Probably the best way to explain it. <laughs> Let's go. How's the primal life going for you? I really... <laughs> I'm having a great time. How many axe hits does it take um... to tell Merit to split a log? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh -huh. Something's happening. Don't have to aim when it's lodged. <laughs> We've sat the sauna down from 100 to 90. I think it's time to end today's vlog, but there's one thing left to do. Oh, it's raining. Proper movie. <laughs> I thought you were living the barefoot life.